Is it uh, working? Okay, uh, hi guys! And uh, I feel like a scientist today, so uh, yeah, welcome to Powder Toy! This is a very nice uh, game that is actually uh, free for download, so I'm going to leave the link in the descriptions for those who are interested. And it's a very nice uh, kind of particle simulator that you can uh, play with with very with a very huge variety of stuff that you can choose to play with from electronics to sensors to explosives gases liquids radioactive material game of life tools and all that so yeah today i'm going to make a short introduction about this game and uh, pretty much it so uh, the first thing that you're going to come up in mind when playing this game is probably explosives. You have a huge variety of explosives right over here. For example, if you can put on some TNT, with the mouse wheel you can uh, make the circle which you can put in stuff how big you like. Put in some TNT, some ignition cord. Then with some fire you light it up and you see some very nice sparkles. Probably it's going to be set off by the sparkles and not by the ignition cord. And kaboom! Bam! This is a very basic reaction. For example, if you are more like a chemist type, you can put up a container out of metal. I usually prefer metal. For those who want something more resistant, you can use a uh, uh, bricks, a uh, brick, a uh, wall actually, which is uh, made in the game to be undestructible. So you make out of metal or whatever you like, and you put in some liquid rubidium. Now, if you remember from basic chemistry, this is an alkaline from the first uh, group, and it's very reactive with water, so just a small drip of water like that. Bam! Just just one pixel of water and explosion. So yeah, very nice. Here at the liquid we actually can see that we have a lot more stuff. For example, acid, which you can use to dissolve. It dissolves everything. Look at it going through metal. Right down and even heats it up if by watching up there you can see the uh, whatever substance you are hovering the mouse over, its temperature and its pressure. I removed the webcam for this uh, for this episode and I'm using my old headphones as I'm saying. I'm still testing out and I removed the webcam so I won't disturb you with my face while I'm doing science. Other more interesting stuff that you can use again you can have fireworks very beautiful just get in put on some fireworks and bam so beautiful and of course it melts metal because it's stupendously hot pew 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 this button over here clear clears the image or erases everything so you're going to use it quite often just want to point that out. So yeah, now we're going to do some more advanced reactions. I mean, come on, explosives, what the hell, That this is for kids. You might want something more interesting like a nuclear reaction. So let's going to get some metal, we're going to make a nice empty ball, just like that, and we're going to add some plutonium which is fissile and generates neutrons under pressure, so be very careful when you place it in, otherwise you might just accidentally create neutrons. Then just wait to make this right back a little. You can pause the game if you want to, and I'm going to put exactly one neutron. For those who are uh, Want to speed up, you can put like thunder, which will make it much more unstable. But one neutron, and we are going to see the domino reaction. The neutron goes, then hits, creates other neutrons, then goes, hits, creates other neutrons, and the fusion reaction! Oh, 
Awesome, right? I hope you enjoyed the sound effects that I added. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have any sound. But yeah, we have some little leftover neutrons. You can use spa uh, Z actually to zoom in. Too late for that now. Let's clear the image so you can be sure. Now I'll have some very special reaction types that have been newly added into the game and I really want to show it to you. And these are the um, uh, black hole things and the light bending with black holes and another thing that is going to be a special surprise. So now that they have changed the way black holes act, until now they only sucked particles, but now if you put a black hole, let's say over here, and activate Newtonian gravity, it actually creates its own gravity field, which acts much more uh, interesting. By, acting, by activating the draw gravity field, you can actually see the gravity field around it. And to make things even interesting, you can unleash a little beam of photons just right over here photons travel in straight lines but you can actually see how the black holes bends the photons the stream of photons so basically blends light and too bad it uh, disappears after a very short time but you can see that photons are simply trapped in what science calls the event horizon so here the photons can get away but they can't get sucked in so they will simply go around them I need to slow down the footage or something they'll simply go and uh, orbitate around the black hole so really really awesome stuff they have added <laughs> if we put it a little bit farther it also gets affected but not enough to orbit so you need to get it closer like that. So look just how it remains orbiting right over there. A nice little circle. So yeah, it also generates some interesting effect if you reduce the black hole to other shapes. <laughs> it's no longer a simple circle. It goes around and spins randomly. Not actually randomly, but close enough. <laughs> So yeah, this has been with the black holes, let me just clear up. And now for the special thing that we have. Uh, I'm not going to use metal because unfortunately metal uh, is conductive and what I'm going to use will can generate electricity. So we're going to use, oh we have gold. Interesting. But not, not gold. Um, actually, they removed, they removed it. You had diamond until now, which was basically like the walls, so indestructible. So I guess I'm going to use the walls. Blocks everything, not basic wall. Blocks everything, and it's a square shape. So we're going to make this small thing, and we're going to make a very interesting reaction. We're going to add, let's see if we can pause, small beam of electrons and a small beam of neutrons. You might think, well, electrons and neutrons, what, what can they do? I mean, they're just electrons and neutrons. Well, if you let the game on pause and you watch it, you can see some small gas forming. And if you zoom in and hover over it, you can actually see just a second that it, it writes right over there it's actually hydrogen so you'll be like what the hell is this what kind of physics simulator is this when since when neutrons and electrons do hydrogen i thought that the hydrogen is made out of a proton and electron and yeah i was very very surprised but by this at the first time as well but it appears after i wrote uh, read a little bit on some forums that the neutrons the quarks that made up the neutrons can as well uh, make up uh, protons and electrons so it contains the same quarks plus an anti-neutrino that is not unfortunately featured in this game you can't really ask for everything in this game so yeah probably due to the impact with the electron the neutron the quarks from the neutron might 
decompose and uh, reform into hydrogen. I'm not sure if this is what actually happens, but this is what powder toy teaches us. Or show us, not teaches us, come on. So yeah, very awesome. Now, to end it, um, to end this video, let's add some more of these things around here. More hydrogen. So I'm actually quite thirsty at the right this moment, so um, I'm going to show you how you can make your own water, of course. You have hydrogen, you just add this small little gas, which is also known as oxygen, and ignite it with a small flame. And if you wait a little bit, you can actually see that these things that we have obtained is actually steam or water vapors as it's written there. So all you have to do is to cool it down with something like... Um, unfortunately the wall doesn't conduct it so um, I'm going to have to put it inside something very cold like some straight ass liquid nitrogen. But be careful not to put too much because it then just turns into ice which is annoying. But if you spend your time and cool it down either with a very cold substance or using the um, uh, cooling tool, just like that, you're going to obtain some very refreshing water. Just like that. Mm, yeah, it's actually distilled water if you and water and distilled water because, well, the steam distillates water. I uh, just need to cool this down and yeah, here you are, water. So I yeah, hope you enjoyed this small update video. This is pretty much it, Powder Toy. As uh, mentioned before, check the links in the description to get this awesome game. There are many other substances that you can use. There are many different reactions. You can have life, you can have this Stick man that you can play with. Stick man. I said, yeah, the stick man uh, simply died from the. When you create the stick man thing, it actually creates a cloning device that completely drops stick man. And due to the heat, they just keep dying and spawning, and that's what happens. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, and uh, subscribe to see some more. See you next time. Troll!